Hey everyone, winter is coming for Ramsey, and how Stark will rise again. Episode 9 is all about the big battle in the north, snow versus snow. As usual, I'll have the link for the promo clip in the description down below. Please go and watch it. So be careful for spoilers, and let's get started. Generally, I have a poor opinion about Episode 9 only because of the infamous deaths that happened in the past seasons. All of my favorite characters died in Episode 9 of the previous seasons, starting from Ned Stark to the Little Princess, and especially no one can forget the Red Wedding Massacre. So the jinx is inevitable here, and it will likely continue, and some of our favorite characters may die in this episode. I'll talk about this at the end of the video. It appears John still doesn't know what he's up against. He recalls how he survived at Hardhome fighting the Walkers, and he believes battles can be won against greater odds, which Sansa warns him not to make any assumptions about Ramsay. She is right, you know. Ramsay is not a White Walker. He is worse than them. The White Walkers sometimes let people live who no longer pose a threat to them. But Ramsay is nothing like that. In Episode 2, he killed his own father and offered his stepmother and her just-born son as a feast for the Hounds. Before the battle, Jon asks Melisandre not to bring him back if he dies again. She knows he will survive because he is the prince that was promised, and the victory she saw in the flames will become true. Speaking of the Red Woman, Sir Davos may come to know about the horrific death of the Little Princess, and he'll be devastated. I don't know how he'll react to the Red Woman because lately things have changed between them. With all the other important stuff going around, it's hard to say. Okay, now let's talk about the battle. It's Team Jon Snow versus Team Ramsay Snow. If you look at Team Jon, they have the bulk of the force made up of the Wildlings, 62 good men from House Mormont, and maybe some other few northern houses, which currently I don't know. On the other side, if you look at Team Ramsay, he has the support of the two biggest houses in the north, the Karstarks and the Umbers. Also, they have the support of some more houses. Clearly, Jon is outnumbered here, and Ramsay's army is well-trained and disciplined. The odds are against the Starks, and the psychopath has the upper hand. Taking these facts into consideration, John asks Ramsay to have a one-on-one -on -one fight with him, more like a duel. He doesn't only ask this because the chances of their victory are slim. He has the intention of saving his men's lives and to avoid the bloodshed. Now, Ramsay has no honor. Without a doubt, he will decline this proposal. Well, you know, he likes to play by his own rules. He doesn't like rules or agreements, and he just wants to crush them all. The one thing I don't understand is why the Northerners are supporting the Starks. For thousands of years, the Starks have been generous to the people of the North and their bannermen. They kept them safe during the winters. As long as a Stark remains in Winterfell, the people have a king or lord to go to whenever they are in trouble. Do you think this is all possible with Ramsay? Not a chance. Just imagine this scenario. Winter is here. Ramsay is the Warden of the North. If the Lords in the other houses ride to Winterfell and ask him to help them with food provisions, what do you think he will do? He will never help them, not even in their dreams. He'll simply offer them as meat for his hounds. So here is my question to you guys. Do you think any of the Northern Houses will turn against Ramsay by switching their side to the Starks? Let me know in the comments below. Coming to the most important part, who will win this battle? Well, I think it's going to be the Starks but it will not be a great victory which they can celebrate. Littlefinger's army of the Vale will likely arrive just in time when the Starks are on the verge of their defeat. They will ride across the field, slaughter the Bolton soldiers, and ensure the victory. I don't think Littlefinger will show up at the beginning because his tactics are different. If he starts to fight the Boltons at the beginning, they will be at their full strength, and it's a bit of a challenge for them. But when they arrive at the end, the soldiers will be tired because they would have been fighting for a long time and some of them would be holding up with their wounds. Technically, they are in a vulnerable state. If they catch them by surprise, it will be easy to break them. So this is how I expect the battle to end. As I said, it will not be a great victory which they can celebrate. Jon may have to deal with many great losses. The speculations say that most of the wildlings will die in this battle, notably Tormund and the giant one one. Also, I heard a rumor about Rickon Stark. It may be true, and the credit goes to the Redditors. Ramsay releases Rickon and tells him to run towards his brother. As he runs, Ramsay starts shooting arrows. One of them hits him, and he dies in Jon's arms. And finally, the one person expected to die is none other than Ramsay Snow. I hope he will meet his fate in this episode. 
Some say he will escape before John finishes him off, so let's wait and see. We will meet a new Bolton general played by actor Mark Tankersley. Sources say the actor spent one month filming, so he will have a decent amount of screen time. I almost forgot to mention, there are several burning flayed corpses attached to crosses in the battlefield. Probably these are warning signs of Ramsey to not mess with him. Episode 9 will surely focus on the North, and we will catch up with the rest of the storyline in the Season 6 finale. So, that's all. Thanks for watching, like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe.